Um, so I guess my, what my question is, is this, um, there's a lot of, uh, quote unquote denominations. There's a lot of things and oftentimes with conversion acceptance in the community is the whole point. Um, what my question is, is, is this, so I mainly study what, what would be under the branch of philosophy. Um, you know, I, I study uh, Philo of Alexandria, you know, I, I enjoy, you know, studying the Rambam. Um, you know, there's a lot of different books about philosophy that I study. What type of, uh, I guess, uh, sect or um, what, what type of synagogue should I be looking to go to, go to you know, uh, if I want to be accepted and instead of rejected because I don't, I don't really believe in Kabbalah. Unless you live in Israel, you're not going to find a synagogue that rejects Kabbalah. I remember when I lived in Jerusalem, there were a few Yemenite synagogues like Baladi synagogues that were only according to the Rambam, but that's also very rare. I think that people who are not mystically inclined would find themselves more accepted in a modern Orthodox synagogue, even though they're also into Kabbalah, but they're not as knee-deep in as Chabad would be, as especially other Hasidic groups like Satmar, Babav, and Bells. You also would probably not feel comfortable amongst Sephardim. Sephardim are very Kabbalistically inclined, and there's so much Kabbalah. I mean, post Shabtai Svi, the Sephardi world never really recovered from that. And clearly, I mean, the Rambam was Sephardi, but in the Rambam's time, you're talking about the golden age of philosophy was all over the place. After the 1300s, and then for sure after the 1500s, after Shabtai Svi, everything went downhill. And, you know, I mean, the result was also Sephardi. I would say more rationalistic synagogues, people who work for a living. But how do you know? People are clean shaven, no long coats, no big black hats, just modern orthodoxy. I typically define modern orthodoxy as doing what's required and considering what's optional. That's it. I'm not saying it's bad to wear a black hat. I'm not saying it's bad to study Kabbalah. I don't think studying philo Judaeus of Alexandria is going to help you much in the Orthodox world, but I've also read it, and I have Josephus also. I mean, that we need a historical context of Jewish history. This is, you know, to understand, especially even to argue with Karaites. You have to have a grasp on Jewish history, and there aren't too many Jewish historical books. Josephus is up there. But apart from that, all we have is rabbinic literature. Many people, especially atheists, like if you're trying to argue with an atheist, I think they're going to consider a statement from the Mishnah as authoritative, but they will accept something from Jewish history as authoritative. I would say a more modern Orthodox synagogue, but if you only have a Chabad, then be respectful. Go there and listen to the class. Again, you'd have to be spiritually strong, religiously strong to be able to distinguish between the nonsense. To so say, you know, Rabbi, what you said is beautiful. I just, I'm not convinced of it. I'm not convinced. People shouldn't be throwing other people under the bus because we're not convinced of certain ideas. You can't convince someone who's unconvinced unless he allows himself to be fooled, okay? And that's not what we want. Like, we don't want people brainwashed here. This is why like, if someone wants to believe that JC is Mashiach and they're not convinced of my argument, but they're not convinced. Like, what am I going to do? They believe it. They're not convinced, but they're willing to accept Torah like the Jews accepted Torah Mount Sinai, then that's good enough for me. We can't be shutting people because they're not convinced of certain things. I wasn't convinced of many things. But when I converted to Judaism, I wasn't a rationalist right away. It took time. It took time. But yeah, modern orthodoxy is the way to go if you want Kabbalah light in the orthodox world. So modern orthodoxy is young Israel. Some places have Asha Torah. I'm talking about the branches, the chains of synagogues. But see if the rabbi is clean shaven. If he's clean shaven, he's typically more modern. Not necessarily. I mean, you could also be Haredi and clean shaven.